Ladies and gentlemen, UFC 300 is upon us, and the fight I'm going to be talking about first is Charles Oliveira versus Armin Sarukian. But more particularly, Charles Oliveira, because in my opinion, Oliveira is being pretty disrespected this time around for his fight with Armin Sarukian. I mean, he has been disrespected in the past, like... People were saying he wasn't going to beat Benil Dariush. He went in there, knocked him out. People were saying he wasn't going to beat a lot of guys, and they were wrong about that. And this time around, Charles is coming in as the underdog for the bookies, which is insane to me. And he's also coming in with a lot of people thinking that he's not going to win this fight and that it's going to be Armin Sarukian, but I think otherwise. I mean, for starters, let's just go back and look at the caliber of fighters Charles has fought over these past couple of years because it's completely insane. He's fought Benil, he's fought Chandler, he's fought Gaethje, he's fought Poirier, he's fought Makachev, he's fought Tony Ferguson, and the only loss he had there was Islam Makachev, and okay, that's fine. I mean, Islam is a great fighter, so there's not really too much you can take away from him there, but... There were also things that went into that fight with Islam that people don't really think about anymore. Like Charles was potentially not going to make weight for that fight. There was rumors that one of the two guys in the main event wasn't going to be able to make weight. And Charles was one half of that main event. So that could, could fully have been him and could have been why we saw such a poor performance from him. Or Islam was just better. That's totally an option too. But I mean, last time out against Benil Dariush, everybody was counting him out and saying that he wasn't going to win that fight. And he went in there and did the exact opposite. He completely demolished Benil. And I see what he did to Benil being something that could happen to Armin Sarukian as well. Because let's face it, it's going to be tough for Charles to submit a guy like Armin. Armin's just such a good wrestler. He's so strong from top position. And being on your back against a high-level wrestler like that is just not a great idea. So Charles definitely can't do that. But if he stands there and strikes with him and he's able to fend off the takedowns, I don't see why he can't do the same thing to Armin that he did to Benil. I mean, the fact that he's even having to fight Armin Sarukian is kind of a joke anyways. I mean, yeah, he pulled out of his last title fight against Islam Makachev, but it wasn't because of his fault. He got a cut. I mean, there's not really anything you can do about that. You can't really blame it on the fighter. He's training and an accident happened. So, I mean, he already had that opportunity taken away from him. And now he has to go and fight Armin Sarukian, which is probably the best up and coming prospect in the lightweight division. So if he were to get through Armin, I mean, there's really no questioning a title shot at that point. But look at what's going on in the lightweight division. I mean, you have Justin Gaethje and Max Holloway who are also fighting on 300. And you have just Dustin Poirier who seems to be lingering around and potentially getting that title shot and i think charles and justin if justin were to win as well are both going to get screwed here and neither of those guys are going to be fighting for the title till at least the end of the year because islam needs a fight and it looks like the only guy ready for him is dustin poirier stylistically i think these two don't match up greatly i mean i would favor armin stylistically just because he is the wrestler and if he does get top position on Oliveira, i I believe he can keep him there just because of how good he is, but there's always going to be a threat for submission. In terms of the striking though, I think Charles is levels ahead of Armin. I don't think Armin's striking is great at all. I don't, I'm not impressed with that knockout he had over Neil Dariush. I think he kind of got a little bit lucky. He caught him and the situation was there. I mean, great finish, good job, but I don't know. I wasn't totally convinced there. And I've just seen Charles strike against much better opponents and find success. I mean, he had success against Poirier a couple of times. Gaethje, yeah. I mean, he sat down Gaethje, but majority of that fight he was getting pieced up. But he still did well, and he was able to start finishes from those shots and sometimes even get finishes. So I don't know. I think wherever this fight goes will play a big part in the result. I don't think each guy could fare in each other's world i think that charles is going to want to keep this on the feet armin's going to want to keep this on the ground and if either guy were to win that's how they would do so i mean this fight's definitely not going to the distance either and none of charles's fights go the distance and i don't see it being any different here and there's a lot of stakes in this matchup i mean this is essentially a number one contenders fight and that's why it's on the ufc 300 main card as well i mean there's other reasons for that too but Mainly, it's a number one contenders fight in the lightweight division, whatever way you look at it. If Armin wins, he's going to get the title shot. Charles wins, he might get the title shot. But, I mean, Dana even came out and said that this is a number one contenders fight. So, I don't know. That's what I'm going to go with. And that just means the winner of this fight means so much more. But, if Charles does somehow go out there and get the job done against 
Armin Sarukian. I'm going to be campaigning for a title shot. I mean, he has to be fighting for the title. This is one of the biggest stars in the UFC. I think a lot of people are forgetting that as well. And that's why you don't hear a lot of the big guys talk about it too. But Charles Oliveira is one of the biggest stars in the UFC, undoubtedly. I mean, the guy has the biggest social, one of the biggest social media followings out of any guy in the UFC. He is definitely the biggest star in Brazil with Alex Pereira. But I would still say Charles has a lot of star power. And you, it's reflected in his numbers, in his pay-per-view buys. It's just, you could see this guy as a superstar. Everybody loves this guy. And that's why he's on the UFC 300 main card. That's the only reason, to be honest. But if he is that popular, then why does the UFC not credit him? I mean, they do it for all the other guys. I mean, Adesanya is going to fight for the title off a loss. So, I mean, surely Charles, after knocking out Benil Dariush and potentially finishing Armin Sarukian, should be able to get that too, no? That whole aspect does not make any sense at all to me, but whatever. Hopefully, he just gets the title shot if he wins, and I think he might, but I think he has a really tough test in front of him here with Armin Sarukian. I mean, look at Armin. The guy's young. He's hungry. This is his moment. This is his opportunity to go out there, get a big win, and fight for the title against Izal Makachev, a guy he already fought and he found some success with. So, I think Armin is really, really looking at this fight here and being like okay this is my opportunity right here right now to break into that top five and to fight islam for the title because the top five in lightweight is pretty convoluted and for many years they've just been fighting each other but they're slowly allowing these guys towards the bottom of the rankings to have an opportunity to crack into the top five so right here right now this is armin's chance charles Oliveira. it's not an easy fight but no one is an easy fight in the top five of the lightweight division. So if he goes out there and gets a win, I would be in favor of him getting a title shot too. Honestly though, I do think this fight is going to end up being finished in the first round, whoever wins it. I see this fight starting a little bit quick. Charles is not going to really be doing too much. He's just going to get in Armin's face quick, put him on the back foot and start throwing some straight shots. Maybe then Armin will find an opening and get a takedown. I actually think Armin will get a takedown in this fight at some point. But I don't think he's going to be able to keep Charles down for too long. I think Charles will get up and he'll be able to just strike with Armin. And eventually, he'll find his chin, sit him down, and just finish him with punches from there. I don't think he'll go for a submission. or Well, he probably will go for a submission, fail, and then just end up going for punches. But yeah, that's going to be my official pick for this fight. I'm a little bit biased. I am a big Charles fan. But I really do think he has a great chance to win this fight. And... Seeing what Dustin Poirier just did to Benoit Saint-Denis when everybody counted him out and said that the new guy was here to take over, it gives me some hope for Charles and maybe that Charles isn't done yet either and that the top five lightweights are still the top five lightweights in the world. So yeah, I'm back in Charles. I'm so excited for that fight. One of my favorite fights on the card, but... That doesn't really say much. The card's absolutely loaded. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think, though. Who do you have winning this fight? You have Charles Oliveira. Do you have Armin Sarukian? How do you think it's going to end? Let me know down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say. And, yeah. Thank you all for watching once again. There's going to be a ton of UFC 300 content coming out over this week. I'm so excited for these fights. And there's so many great fights to talk about. So, that's what I'll be doing. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.